It's about building parliament to parliament links uh, and ensuring that Australian parliamentarians have an opportunity to better understand uh, issues in Chile, uh, issues in our relationship uh, and opportunities to work together. When we have members of parliament who are more aware of circumstances in each other's country, when we have members of parliament who have met with members of parliament in another country, we better understand their priorities. Uh, I think what we get is a better understanding of each other's needs, priorities and challenges, and that in itself is a very important way to strengthen relations. Um, we've heard a story today uh, about someone, a member of the uh, a deputy whose daughter came to Australia on a working visa, and, and that's an experience where, where we can provide increasing opportunities for people to travel to each other's country. That improves people-to-people -people links, and that always strengthens the links between countries. Um, we can all learn from each other's experience. There, there are many parts of our economies that have similarities. We are both resource exporting, open trading nations. Uh, we are roughly similar in terms of the size of population. Uh, but um, understanding how each other is prioritising those goals, how we're going about implementation, uh, that is important because we might be able to learn something as much as, as, as share our experience. We're obviously interested in people-to-people -people links here in Chile. We want to talk to parliamentarians here about their experiences, about their priorities for their country. Uh, as the President of the Senate from Australia, Mr Ryan, has said, uh, we want to improve those things and those links between our two countries that already exist. The fact that we're both uh, open economies, the fact that we're both reliant on uh, uh, primary production, particularly resources. So we want to grow those and we want to work with other free trading nations to be able to do that. Well, we're very much looking forward to getting a briefing from your health officials today about what Chile is doing in relation to obesity. It is a growing issue around the world. Uh, every country is dealing with it, uh, particularly developing and developed nations. Uh, what we need to do is work out what works, to look at the evidence base, and we're interested here in your labelling, particularly of your food products, to see if that is working or not. Australia is looking at labelling as well about what will happen uh, and how that works in the community. Is it making a difference? Is it popular with the population? Does the population like the choice? Is it an informed choice and is it changing behaviour? So we're looking forward to the briefings we'll receive this afternoon from the health officials in relation to what Chile is doing and hopefully we can learn from that. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do in Australia in terms of the gender pay gap. Uh, we're doing some work, particularly around family violence uh, and domestic violence, uh, but we still have a long way to go and we're looking to other countries to learn from their experiences. We're doing quite well in women in representation of government boards, but we're still not doing very well in terms of representation of women on private boards and company boards. So we still have a lot to do in Australia when it comes to closing that gender gap. Uh, but we're interested to hear from other countries similar to your own about how to do that and what's happening here. Chile y Australia tienen mucho en común. A nosotros queremos fortalecer los vínculos entre Australia y Chile en muchas áreas, incluye minería, agricultura, infraestructura, educación y salud. Creo que esta visita es muy importante para fortalecer vínculos entre personas en Chile y Australia, pero también para aumentar entendimiento entre nuestros dos parlamentos. I think there are wonderful opportunities for Australia and Chile to work together on sustainable development goals. Australia and Chile face many of the same challenges, be they environmental, social, uh, health or economic. Uh, so sharing information, sharing experience is terribly important and one of the things I am very keen to do as Australia's ambassador in Chile is to boost the links 
between the different groups, between our governments, between our parliaments, between our community organisations, so that we can share that experience and work together to face the, same, the challenges we face that are the same between our countries. My big emphasis is to broaden our relationship in new areas, particularly through education, because to me education is so important, not just in terms of gaining knowledge, but also for building links. So whether that is Chileans studying in Australia, or Australians coming to study in Chile, or Australian technical training providers coming to bring their skills to Chile to help in the mining and infrastructure sectors, I believe through education we can establish a stronger relationship in terms of the sharing of knowledge but also the building of links between our young people which will lay the foundation for a stronger bilateral relationship in the years to come.